This is before. Check the story in our videos. Guys, just look how lifted the back part of the roof. Probably the animal stepped on something and ended up chipping apart. Look at how it turned out, guys. The owner is now going to do the treatment here. Check it out. It's a roof fracture, and the roof actually ended up fracturing at the region of the hill. I always I uh, comment when a roof is trimming and the roof chips and breaks. We have had videos of roof trimmings where cases were similar. In this case here, it was different. It is a softer part of the roof, a small part of the hill is a softer part. It is the shell, it has barely formed, and if you close your hand here in front, this where it hardens and where we have circulation, so this shell has not been closed, so we will not have to cut this here. We separated the right nut from the spot, it didn't stick anymore, and ended up getting stuck in this part up here, and this will be the procedure. Now, this is the procedure, the procedure that we are going to use here, because it's a small part of the roof as we were commanding and the intention is that it just holds the blood circulation in a simple way, well, uh, there is also a surgical way, this one is the simplest, but also extremely effective, you know, it holds and cuts part of circulation and then it will make this part fall and where the rubber it is, you know, it will dry out, in other words, there is the, the healing process actually, and you know, it will cut itself just by the rubber itself, drying and cutting, you know, look guys, this is very interesting, I'll hold it here for Renato and don't move it too much, and what will happen is that here the circulation will be held this will when the rubber will close closing and then we will be looking later to put rubbers with more turns until it falls and after it falls on one piece now six days later hello guys from the open gate everything is fine with you with us everything is okay guys renato went back with the animal who had something strange in the roof to show you how was the result of the rubber that Renato put on, as you saw it, it was something like very big that was there and you know it was a part of the hoof so let's show it here for you to see this heel here broke, you can see that we have a mark on and in that goes outside the line of the hoof but this part had come off so it was hanging out was it sticking out? Do you remember? It looked like a spur, it was dry, a dry one part, it was dry and another part there it already had a blood supply. So the owner of the animal after contacting the veterinarian said that he would not perform surgery, which was one of the right procedures to do in that case. In other words, uh, you would give your animal a local anesthetic, you know, for the cut, to be cut and remove it, uh, the tip that almost it, it was almost the size of my finger in other words making a cut and does a suture you know in other words it was surgery look just so you can see this here, it's, it, 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 this is uh, a skin that is spilling off, so that's a coming loose, there is still a, a slight separation of the hoof here, but it is well glued and together, and there are no cracks in the hoof opening, just the scars, they look, you know, what an incredible result, I'm going to make her hoofy,
como que vai ser. Let's see what we will look like after being hoofed. Also, without that spur we had, which was actually part of the hoof, and bothered her as she walked, it was hitting on the other hoof, on the other leg, and feeling the pain, it bothered her. Now, imagine you guys, you that is watching right now. Uh, lift a piece of your fingernail and it's out every moment you're feeling that pain. Imagine for an animal that it's much bigger. It is the same situation. There was a thinner one out because in fact it ended up losing and more than what was losing because it was closed properly. The animal no longer feels uncomfortable, it doesn't limp anymore. I'm going to come here from the front now. I'm going to do a little grinding here to keep it aligned, just to align the hoof in the spot. It's gonna be like little by little, every time I come, I do the trimming, I'm going to remove a little here to reduce the protrusion, the difference. So it's ready. Look guys, how it turned out, it's a normal hoof as it was before. An excellent result, the treatment done here by Renato guys. So, guys, everyone stay with God until the next video, God willing, our motto is to listen those who have no voice to be heard.